All right, folks, welcome to another episode of Saturday Night Slice. Uh, actually recording this on a Thursday evening. As you can see, a very lazy uh, Thursday evening. Been a bit busy today. And uh, my brother came in from work and he was like, should we get a takeaway? And I thought, hmm, trying to avoid getting takeaways since it's, you know, just like three weeks till Christmas. But I thought, Do you know what, I can't be asked cooking. I've just done like a gammon joint today that I've um, put on the slicer and um, done a big batch of like uh, mince and sausage lasagna. God, I can't even speak. Um, mince and sausage bolognese. So yeah, can't really be bothered. So as you've seen by the title, I um, don't know what the thumbnail's gonna be like. Got a festive pizza. And this one comes care of Domino's. Now it's already been opened because uh, I've exchanged slices. My brother went for the hot and spicy, which I've had a slice. Nice little kick to it. And I, of course, went for, can't remember what it's actually called. As you can see, there's a piece missing. Uh, went for the festive one. And now off the top of my head, there's onions, like sage and onion, um, turkey, sausage, bacon, and of course, cranberry sauce. Now I wanted to order it from the actual Domino's website itself, uh, mainly because I couldn't be bothered having any onions on it, uh, but for some reason wasn't accepting payment, so I had to get it on Just Eat. And unfortunately, Just Eat doesn't give you the option to remove toppings. So um, yeah, that was mildly annoying. Because, I don't know, sometimes, especially when you get big pieces like that, just does nothing for me. So, uh, while I get a little bit of a close-up of this, there won't be any music, because even when I use music on the um, iMovie library, which I would have assumed was royalty-free, I got a copyright claim. So, uh, just to, let's have a brief look at what this pizza looks like. So it doesn't look too bad, actually. Got it delivered really quickly, but mind you, our local Domino's is only about a you know less than ten minute drive away. But I was, I was gonna, I was a little bit concerned. Concerns not the right word because it's not you know a massive travesty. But I was concerned that there'd be way too much cranberry sauce on the pizza because I've seen some reviews of this where there's massive dollops all over it. Thankfully, they've been a little more conservative with uh, the amount, just the right amount. Got nothing against um, cranberry sauce, but the novelty doesn't half wear off quite quickly when every festive something themed, themed whatever, um, that was good English, comes with so much cranberry sauce. But now I think there's uh, just the right amount. So I went for the Italian style crust on this because that's the one thing about Domino's is um, sometimes the crust, I don't know, it's their crust I'm not the biggest fan of usually because it is very doughy and stodgy. Um, See, so yeah, I'm more of like a, a pizza hut crust if I'm getting takeaway. I've never had Papa John's. And I think we can now order in our area Papa John's. So you'll probably see another episode of Saturday Night Slice. Um, I was going to be doing the um, Christmas dinner pizza from Aldi today. But unfortunately it didn't have any. So we'll save that for a later one uh, within the next couple of weeks. But um, yeah. So went through a thin crust on this. There it is. Got a nice slice. It's a very haphazard episode of... Um, Saturday night slice this one, so do apologise. Anyway, let's tuck in. First thing I'll point out, the cranberry sauce is not overbearingly sweet, which is good. The bacon is just like you'd expect bacon of this style to be like. Pretty nondescript, but not too bad. Let's have a bit of the turkey. The 
Turkey's got a really nice taste to it. Not overly sagey uh, with its sort of like stuffing inspired flavour. Not too bad. A little bit dry as you would expect. But in you know on a pizza you don't really want like really juicy meat. I don't anyway. Uh, unless it's like um, really high quality chorizo or pepperoni or indusia or something like that. But yeah, turkey gets the job done. Got a bit with way too much red onion there. I just don't like the texture of onions on pizza. Mm. So I'll probably be picking a lot of that off, to be honest. Well, it's not too bad. It's like I try and cook without using onions as much as I can. I just don't like the texture of them a lot of the time. If it's on a burger and it's like fresh onion, especially red onion, that's fine. But I don't like cooking. That's why I don't understand why people like onion gravy. It's like you're destroying gravy by having these chunky pieces of onion in there. So if, if possible, I'll just use like onion powder or something. Or chopped up so it makes you look like the pickiest four-year-old you've ever met. And like, especially if like pizza cools down or you go back to it a little bit later, the texture of cold, already cooked onions, not for me. But I don't think they're taking anything away from it. In terms of the, the context of the pizza, of course, onions make sense. So it's not like a breaking point or a point deducted or whatever for me. Sausage. I do like the sausage that they uh, that Domino's uses on their pizza. It reminds me of like a slightly less quality version of like a Matheson's or Matheson's smoked sausage. Smoked sausage is really nice. But again, sausage, bacon, pigs in blankets. Works well. Everything works well on the slice. Really, really does. So I'll have a little bit of each topping on its own. And of course, Domino's garlic dip. Well, not many garlic dips come close to Domino's. I know like Aldi and Lidl and stuff do their own version of it, but no. So this is the sausage on its own, holding a sausage. Not sure what like the meat content is on the sausage itself, but you know, it's sort of like catering sausage quality, even though there's nothing wrong with catering sausages, especially from a chippy. So that's the, the bacon, which does look a little bit more anemic. Very, very subtle flavor. And then we've got some of this turkey with like the crumb on it and stuff. I said earlier that it's a little bit dry. That had a little bit of like uh, moistness to it. Nice texture. Kind of did that onion. Yeah, it, it's all right. I think I might have reviewed this last script, like last festive season or festive season before then. It's all right, you know, you are getting that slight Christmassy sort of uh, feel to it, but it doesn't taste like Christmas. You know, without the cranberry sauce, this could be like a year round sort of pizza, really. I think you have to really go to town by making something festive for it to feel and taste festive. But you know what? Not a bad pizza at all. I'm just annoyed I couldn't take the onions off. And say out of all the ingredients, the turkey's really good. 
more of a chicken person than turkey, but Christmas in it. And the cranberry sauce. It's got a really nice flavour to it. Yeah. A modest, festive themed pizza. Not going to rush out to get another one. It's not going to have me waiting in, in anticipation next year. But it's not bad. And the crust is really nice. Go for the Italian style when you get Domino's. So it's not too thick and stodgy. Yeah. Not like mind-blowingly amazing. But far from boring and awful. I think it hits the brief. But maybe if they did something more with the sausages and the bacon. Like maybe maple cure the bacon or something like that. Or even put pigs in blankets or like make pigs in blankets and then slice them. But yeah, the stuffing element works well. The cranberry sauce just tops it all off. And yeah. But the turkey for me is the star of the show on this. So I'm going to really enjoy the rest of that. We've got some garlic bread. Well, not garlic bread, but a little garlic pizza and some of the chips. Got their festive meal deal for like 30 quid. £32 something with the delivery. Yeah, it's... Like everything, it's getting much more expense, expensive now, isn't it? The like the cheek of McDonald's charging what they charge for some of their meals. Plus, I'd, I'd much rather make my own or get something like high quality from the supermarket or something. I couldn't do takeaways on a regular basis. It's just out of pure laziness. Plus, we get some content and um, yeah, Ooh, looking forward to using that. So, uh, yeah, if you've tried this year's uh, Domino's Christmas pizza, then let me know your thoughts, opinions, what's some of your favourites. I'll definitely, if I can get hold of it, be doing the Aldi one, because from what I've heard, that's pretty damn good. And next time, I probably won't have really greasy hair, but it is what it is. So, yeah, thank you for watching another episode of Saturday Night Slice. I haven't done one of these for such a long time, I've forgotten what the, the structure is of the video itself. But um, yeah, so I'll put this together over the next few days as a recording this, get it uploaded, hopefully for this Saturday. And uh, yeah, see you all later. And if I don't talk to you until then, have a lovely Christmas. My hair is even worse than I thought it was. Ho, 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 bye, bye.